if I press the button, wouldn't it? Um, okay, we should be going live now. Should be going live. Should be going live. It's it's obviously a busy <laughs> it's obviously a busy time for uh, um, Zoom and Facebook. Right there we are. Right, we should be all good. We should be all live. Let me just get up everything so I can see what's going on. Good evening. A happy Christmas. Merry Christmas, I should say, rather. Um, it's all a little bit stressful in our household right now. So it's, apologies. It's oh, busy. Let me just mute that. I'll run it, but I'll mute it. Okay, cool. Right. Yeah. Um, good evening. Hello. Welcome. Um, I think it's going to be quite a quiet one tonight. I would imagine people have, must have better things to do than to um, listen to me drone on for 45 minutes. So there will only be about probably 25 minutes tonight because it's Christmas. So you can see I've got my Christmas jumper on. I've got my Rudolph jumper on. Oh, I'll move down a little bit. There we go. Check that out. So I've got my Christmas jumper on with my with my Rudolph nose. Um, but yeah, so uh, hello. Merry Christmas. Um, and all of that. I'm drinking mulled wine, which is probably why it's only about 25 minutes because this is nice and warm at the moment. And I'm going to want to go and get another glass um, it, before it before it goes, before it's cold. So, but yeah, very stressful. How is everybody this evening? I'm just having a quick look and seeing what's there. Thank you, Laura. Hi, Louise. I expect it to be very quiet tonight. Like I say, I'm not going to drone on for too long today. I think I'll probably go on for maybe 25 minutes tops, maybe even in 20 minutes, which is unusual for me, unheard of. Um, purely because um, it's Christmas Eve and I've still got stuff to wrap. <laughs> like, so there's, there's the other reason. Um, so yeah, I've still got stuff to do. I can see my son who is poking his head around the corner because you're, you're just not even ready for bed, are you? Yeah, I don't know where your toothpaste is. Maybe your elf stole it. Mummy will be in in a sec. She's just outside with the dogs. My what? Oh, I don't know. Oh, it's around somewhere. Right, go on. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, it's I'm, I'm going to be a little bit quiet because they're obviously up there and, and stuff like that. So um, I did spend, I think, about three hours last night with Emma um, on the front room floor wrapping. Um, now, we didn't spend three hours wrapping because there was loads and loads of presents. We spent three hours wrapping because we got through um, a decent sized bottle of rum yesterday afternoon. Um, so, yeah, we started, we, we'd said to each other, oh, sure, we won't drink on, on the 23rd um, because we'll probably have a couple on 24th and obviously we'll drink Christmas Day. Um, yeah, that went out the window. We've got really big windows here, so it went out large scale um, and we drank yesterday. So, yeah, we got, we got through a good chunk of rum um, and therefore the wrapping took a lot longer than it probably should have done. And I'm not convinced of the quality of it either. Um, so... Oh, mold wine's bloody lovely. Yes, mate. What? Go to bed, please. You what? I don't know where my coloring book is. It's around somewhere. I was using it earlier. I will find it. Go do your teeth. If you don't do your teeth, guess who's not going to visit? Uh, well, okay. I was going to say someone else, but crack on. That's right. I'm joking. Go on. If you don't do your teeth, COVID will get you. <laughs> So I shouldn't joke about things. I, I can't believe I've just said that. That's so bad of me. I do apologize. Um, I'm kind of now treating it. I know it's not. It's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a joke, to be honest, because it's just so out of control. I mean, I, I, I honestly did not see it getting to this stage. Um, I think when we had the first lockdown, he's all right, he's here somewhere. And then when we had the first lockdown, my expectation was that we'd be back sorted by, by Christmas time. That obviously dwindled, but, you know, seeing the second, the, the, the big spikes coming through now and, um, yeah, and seeing, you know, other strains coming out. And I was reading a, a, an article earlier, one in 80 people in the UK is now infected with COVID-19. One in 80, and that's one in 60 in Wales, which is just massive, massive numbers. When you think sort of 70 odd million people in the UK, one in 80 has got COVID. That's just hundreds of thousands of people and it is spreading exponentially um and the, it's just out of control the government have got no control over this whatsoever now at all um uh and and yeah and and i i i don't know whether a different government would have done something different i don't know i haven't seen the science of it i know we've spoken about this a lot but 
God, do you know what I mean? Shame on them. They should have just cracked on and just locked down. And to be honest, I'm sat here right now and I saw the news yesterday. It affects us massively in Somerset with our business there. Obviously it affects us in Shrewsbury. Um, so I'm seeing it across the board in various different places. And I'm like, why the hell have they just not gone into a formalized lockdown? 28th of December, six weeks. Just do it. Let's just get it done. Um, but no, they're trying to dig it, dig, dig and dig and dig. And it's mental because a business like mine, we ain't going to see anybody realistically in any kind of numbers through the door until Easter. We just, we just won't. We might have a little pick up at, at February half term, but by and large, we're not going to see anybody through till Easter. So my business isn't going anywhere till then. And loads of other businesses are the same. Um, I think I fit somewhere probably quite nicely in the middle of the spectrum. Um, I kind of have always found that I've fit that most of my life in fairness, which I'm quite happy with. But yeah, we, we're fitting in the middle of the spectrum now. And I just think the government have just, it's just out of control and they just haven't got a clue where to go with it. They're stuck between kind of looking at the right thing, worrying about the bad PR, which is just out the window now. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's why I said COVID is going to get to my kids. I shouldn't do. I know. I know it's awful. I know people are dying from it. I know it's destroying families, livelihoods, you know, businesses up and down the country. It is crazy. Thank you. My daughter has just bought me the last of her mold wine. <laughs> my daughter's had a glass of mold wine. I'm such a good dad. Um, she's nine. Um, but she liked it. She didn't finish it. So yeah. Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, and I'm just reading the comments. Morris just saying that everyone says they could do better, but um, would they though? Because they've only got the same experts to rely on. And I think that's right, Morris. I don't think you're, you're wrong there. I think certainly my aspect of it is I wouldn't have been worried about the bad PR. Just see what the dogs in. Django, get out of it. Django. Um, I really wouldn't have been worried about the bad, bad PR. I personally, if it was me right now, I would just be saying six weeks lockdown. That's it. It's coming. Um, but I, but I, I get the, the, the pressures I'm coming from. Sorry, man. It's a stressful evening in the Campbell household, I tell you. All right, let's move off it because pretty much all of you here will be in tier fours or threes from a from, um, couple of days. It is what it is. It's really shit. Um, we just have to get on and deal with it and obviously look to, look to the future. So um, let's talk about some positives. I've got some great positives. Um, as I flick through the comments, uh, for those who just joined, good evening. Um, hello, Dave and Cheryl. Um, good evening, good evening. Merry Christmas to those of you that missed it. I saw some of you, some of you got it earlier. Here's my Christmas jumper. Um, so I've got my Christmas jumper on. I've got my mold wine. You can hear Django. If you've not met Django, I can grab him in a little while. He's kicking off at Suki, my other dog. Um, so yeah, I've got a lovely glass of mold wine. I'm just chilling out at home now, really. Um, I said that I'm probably going to do about, uh, about 20 minutes today. Um, because I have um, got some presents to wrap still. Um, typical last minute kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, but I think everyone pretty much saying that, um, you yeah, know, similar thing about lockdown. So, anyway, we'll move off that. Glenn, hello, Glenn. Um, da, 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 two teams that will work to get great things for you and reopening. Yeah, Morris is on it. Okay, so prison news. Prison oh, dang dogs. Um, prison, prison news. Um, we have appointed a duty manager down in Shepton Mallet Prison. Um, that has been announced. Um, so I can tell you. Um, so uh, for those of you who have been down to Shepton, um, you may have met 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 Felicity. Um, who was uh, one of our, our, our team there, is one of our CSAs. Um, so Felicity has been working with us for coming on three years now, I think. They're pretty much, well, maybe just over three years. She started um, not far off after we'd opened. So she's been with us for a long time. Fantastic individual, really passionate about the prison, a huge wealth of knowledge. Um, she does tours, she does CSAing, she does so many different things. She's really engaged with, with, with customers, with our processes, knows the business backwards and forwards, up and down, inside out. Um, absolutely fast, fantastic person. I really can't um, compliment her enough, I think, is the thing. So, um, so Flick is 
taking on the role of duty manager at Shepton Mallet. She starts on the 1st of January. Um, actually, they go into lockdown. <laughs> they go into lockdown on Boxing Day. Um, and Flick starts the 1st. So she's got a few days off um, in lockdown. And then she starts her role. Um, and I think she's, she'll be doing bits of that, mainly obviously from home, because uh, obviously we'll be, we'll be locked down. There's some stuff they have to do on site. So she'll be supporting Charlie because they still have to go in and do the checks um, every couple of days and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah, really, really pleased, really happy for her, really pleased for the team because that's just really growing now. Um, and the guys at Shepton are really starting to motor forwards. Um, and we had our first pot of grant money come through as well for Shepton um, last week. So we had we had the first pot of money that we we've been awarded. We got awarded 132,000 at Shepton to use for the digital platforming. So we've had the first tranche of that money. So we were able to start work on that. So the websites are under development at the moment. There might be some new logos on the way through, some new brands on the way through. Um, the digital platform starts being built in uh, January, about middle of January. It's going to start start kicking off. Um, we've got the new internet being sourced into Shepton. So loads of things happening there. So that's really moving forward. Really pleased with that. And basically, we've just resided ourselves at Shepton. That we're not going to see any any kind of serious volume of numbers, numbers that we would expect through the doors until Easter. So we're just gearing everything up for that point. So really preparing ourselves. Which is, which is good that we've got the time to do that. We know how to do it. We know what to do. Um, we're financially in a position where we can do it. And, you know, albeit everything good, we'll crack on from, from Easter. Um, so that's Shepton. So, yeah, really, really pleased with that. So I've got a dog biting my slippers right now. So uh, I'd be curious to see what everyone else is drinking this evening. I've got a lovely mulled wine. Um, so, yeah. Um, so yeah, Flick is taking that on. Now I don't know if it's been announced at Shep at Shrewsbury, so I'm just going to message Lauren and check because I don't want to speak out of turn. Have you told your team about your new DM? Wanted to share on join Joel, but don't want to get into trouble. Okay, so I'm just messaging Lauren um, because I don't know if Lauren's spoken to her team yet because there has been a duty manager appointed at Shrewsbury as well. Um, uh, I was uh, there in the meetings yesterday, I think it was, yesterday morning, um, and they had them and they spoke to the person that took that's, that's been offered the role um, and taken it on. Um, I don't know if that has been confirmed with everybody else yet. Um, so we'll, we'll see. Um, and I'm just waiting to find out. And if it has, I can tell you. If it hasn't, I probably can't. Um, I don't like to jump the gun on those kind of things. Going trouble. Django, stop it. Hey, Django, what you got? Oh, God. Sorry, two seconds. Hold on. Hey, come here. Django, stop. Come here. Come here, you. Hey, stop. Stop it. Right. Sorry, the dog is eating the Christmas decorations. The dog will literally just eat anything you put in front of him. I can't actually have him up here because I'm at the table. And if he learns to come up here at the table, then he'll learn to come up here when we're when he shouldn't be. So he's got to go down, but he's just eating bloody everything. Um, uh, Morris, 132,000. Yeah, it's right. It is serious money. Um, and yeah, it is serious money, but it's very specific for what it's used for the grant money that we gained or the grant money that we got from the heritage lottery fund from the uh, cultural recovery fund i should say um both for shows and shepton is, is very very specific things we can use it for um and it's all about covid recovery and stuff like that so it's really really pleased we've got it it's going to allow us to really enhance a lot of what we do um so yeah very happy about that it makes no difference at all in terms of where we are now in terms of operating through and trading through the, the the bad times of not having people coming through the door it's all about development down the line so it's all about things like new websites um which obviously enhance our, our, our brands new membership systems new crm systems uh, the internet installation at shepton because it's awful at shepton upgrading all of that so um but yeah out of one hundred thirty-two thousand pounds every single penny has already been accounted for before we even got granted the funding. Um, so yeah, and the same as Shrewsbury, but we got a little bit less at Shrewsbury. So, um, I'll get tinselitis, love that. Just wait for Lauren to come back to me. Oh, 
Oh. So Lauren is telling me that she has not told her team yet. Um, oh, so I don't know if I'm allowed to say anything, to be honest. Um, there's not many of them on. I can see Jill's here this evening. Um, might be one or two others, but they have appointed a duty manager down at, Sh at Shrewsbury. Um, again, starting on the 1st of January, very similar to, to um, roll to flick, slightly different different type of person. Um, but yeah, very excited about that. So that's really going to move both of those sites forwards um, really fast, really well coming from when we, when we kicked back to it in January. And Shrewsbury obviously won't be closed, um, although it might as well be because, to be honest, everything around us. When you go when you go south to, to sort of Hereford, um, they're in tier two. They're not really going to travel. Wales is locked down. Everything north of us is locked down. Everything east of us is locked down. So it doesn't matter that Shrewsbury and or, or yeah, Shrewsbury and Telford um, are not in a tier three or a tier four um, because everything around us is is. So it's it's no one's going to bloody visit anyway. Um, so it's 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 that annoying thing of I would be fuming. So my dog's eating. Um, Django, stop eating the carpet. Oh, sorry guys, two sacks. I promise I'll be back. Hey, hey, Django, stop it. Come here, Django. Go in your bed, we'll do this. Okay, I'll just, no, no. Go in your bed, I'll come put it on. Okay, we'll go. Ah, no. I know, I know, I know. Oh, he's eating off the bloody carpet. Um, ah, right, sorry. Um, yeah, it would be really, I'd be really ticked if I was a, a, a different business in Shrewsbury, Telford, because like I say, you're going to get no trade, very, very little trade. But because we're open, you don't get any financial support. The reason that doesn't bother me too much at this stage is because we don't get any financial support from, from Shropshire Council anyway. Um, so it makes no difference to us as to whether we're in a tier two, a tier three, a tier four. If we are forced to close, we get no money from Shropshire Council. Um, if we are open, we still get no money from Shropshire Council. We just trade on ourselves, really. So... It's not a huge amount of difference from, from, from the business in Shrewsbury in that sense, which is a shame um, considering the money we bring into Shropshire and bring into Shrewsbury specifically is where it is. Um, don't whinge, don't grumble and groan about it. We just get on and do our thing and that's what it is. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of where we're up to. Um, yeah, Lauren is telling me not to say anything. No, apparently I've got to be shush. So that's where it is. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm just kind of gearing up really now for the uh, for the new year. So I've been um, doing a few bits behind the scenes that well, I haven't really spoken to anybody about or told anybody about. I've just been cracking on with it. And those will happen from um, really from next week, I guess, um, but really start taking effect from the beginning of the year. Um, and just very much now looking at diversifying our portfolio. So business wise. I want to step out of the tourism and the hospitality sector and, and get a couple of businesses ramped up now in different industries. Like I say, really just to diversify our portfolio because it gives us much more stability in the long run um, from things like COVID. Um, it just, you know, if you've got all your eggs in one industry, it's, you're at risk. Um, so that's kind of my plan going into, going into January and obviously a launch of the incubation hub which I'm very excited about. So we have a lot more time to do things like that. Um, and yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what happens with the attractions based on, you know, no one can control this now. The government can make decisions to help alleviate the pain, I think. Um, but controlling it now is gone. Uh, that ship sailed. Um, it's it's going to just go like wildfire now. We just, it, it's, it, if we think the infection rate is bad now with one, one in 80 people infected, give it another week and it is just it, it wouldn't surprise me if that halved um so yeah is where it is um right uh we're 20 minutes in I'm not gonna last long tonight like i said i want to go get some more mulled wine obviously i want to go and speak to the kids father christmas has got a plate of uh he's got a carrot 
we haven't got any mince pies. So he's got fudge. Um, and he's got a lovely whiskey just up here on top of the piano that you can probably see if I just tip it. Oh, just up there on the corner of the piano. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, so that's there, obviously. Um, I'm going to go see the kids in a sec, say goodnight to them, do the rest of the wrapping I have to do, um, drink a lot more, watch some crap TV, um, and go to bed ready to be woken up at probably, I don't know, half five, six o'clock um, for, for, for tomorrow, obviously being Christmas. My parents were supposed to come up, and I promised last week that um, my mum would be here and I'd pull her into the join Joel and you'd be able to ask her questions. Unfortunately, she's not here. Um, they live in Somerset. So with the change of rules um, going into that, people can only travel on Christmas day. It's just not feasible for them to do three and a half hour journey up to us and a three and a half hour journey back. Um, so they're going to go to my sisters uh, cause she only lives about 40 minutes away from them. Um, so yeah, it's just me, Emma and the kids tomorrow and, and the dogs. Um, so it should be, should be fun. Although my turkey's ridiculously big because I was obviously expecting more people. Glenn, my friend, when all of this is open, you are more than welcome. You are absolutely more than welcome to come on over, have a swim, have a hot tub, we'll stick the barbecue on, have some steaks, have a few whiskeys. Yeah, you're more than welcome, my friend. Well, I love of old wine, love of old wine. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it really. Um, speaking of drinks and substantial meals, I was chatting to somebody the other day. I'm not going to tell you who it was, um, but I was chatting to somebody the other day that, that was, I wasn't saying having, having a rant or a kickoff. They just, they just thought how it was silly, how there were so many loopholes, um, in the whole substantial meal thing. So they went to a pub basically, wanted to go out, arranged to go out with a couple of mates for a couple of drinks. They went, they went to a pub um, knowing they'd have to have a substantial meal and they were told that the smallest meal they could have was a cheese sandwich. So they ordered three cheese sandwiches. They socially distanced from each other. So they were, they were very responsible in that sense. They socially distanced from each other, um, ordered three cheese sandwiches. And basically they were told, you can eat your entire cheese sandwich and as long as the plate stays in front of you, we can continue serving you. Or you can eat none of your cheese sandwich. That's my dog. Django. Oh, he's howling because the phone's going off. I'm gonna have to go get him, hold on. <coughs> Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Was that scary? Come here, then. Come here, then. Oh, was that scary? That mean, nasty phone a bit scary. You come sit with me, then. Shh, don't tell your mum. Um, so, yeah, so they had to... Oh, God. So they had to eat their cheese sandwich. Um, or Sorry, they had to have the cheese sandwich in front of them. And as long as they had it, they could they could drink. That was absolutely fine. No, stay away from my headphones. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit... It's a bit crazy, in fairness, um, in terms of the in terms of the um, loopholes, the way you can jump through them. Like I say, having a cheese sandwich, and I've seen some places, I know some places, have basically been saying that you get your drinks free with your meals or your meals free with your drinks and stuff like that. And just just so many different ways of kind of getting around it. Are you gonna say hello or are you just gonna chew my fingers? Stop, hello, hello. Right, you're gonna say hello. Um, so yeah, there's some, um, yeah, I think that's kind of it. You know, I haven't got a lot more to say tonight. I'm going to go do a few bits. I need to spend some time with the dogs because he's unhappy. And I don't like shutting you out because all you're doing is playing, isn't it? And I'm shutting you out because you're playing, but you're being disturbing and distracting. I don't like to shut you out because then you think you've been bad and you haven't been bad. You're just being a puppy. And that really hurts when you bite too hard. Ow, when you bite too hard. Um, uh, so... <laughs> Keely, you want a mug? So I can see you guys kicking off at me. Um, uh, so yeah, so those kind of things. But anyway, look, is there any questions anybody has? If not, I think I'm just going to head off and do a very short stop. Each of my headphones. Stop using my headphones. Stop using my headphones. Yes. Because we've got to, I've got, like I said, I've got to do some wrapping. Um, so Django says, Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, and you? Yeah. 
Well, he's just going to chew my thumb. Um, so Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you all have a really lovely day tomorrow. I appreciate there'll be lots of you that will be in a similar situation to us where you're expecting friends and family or family members, certainly. Um, and they won't be able to now, to now visit. <laughs> um, uh, and obviously a number of you will be going to different lockdowns and stuff like that from, um, uh, from Boxing Day. So I hope everyone stays safe and well. Do look after yourselves. Do take care. Because like I say, the infection rate is now exponential. It's out of control. Um, and whilst I'm sure most of you will, will go through um, uh, having a, a bout of COVID with, with very little problems, there is obviously, you know, a number of people that will struggle, struggle and suffer from it. So do, do take care. Um, we'll be absolutely fine business-wise, entrepreneurial-wise. You know, all of our team and stuff will look after them as always. Um, I'll obviously be back next Thursday. Is that New Year's Eve? Got a feeling that's New Year's Eve. Um, I don't really celebrate New Year's Eve massively, but we'll talk a little bit next week, probably about um, uh, uh, resolutions because that's that's a big one for me. About I never really set them, but this year I'm going to set a couple. So, um, but yeah, right. Other than that, I'm going to love you and leave you. I'm going to say goodbye. That was my sister on the phone, so no doubt she wants to talk to me about something. You're going to say goodbye. Say goodbye, Django. Say goodbye. Off. Right, down you go. Okay, guys, have a lovely Christmas, and I'll catch up with you next week. I can't remember how to turn this thing off again now. Right, there we go. Have a good Christmas, everybody. Take care.